Well, I don't think we have anything else on the agenda. Any, oh. Anybody else wants to bring up anything? Yeah, I want to bring the CNCA boot of the KubeCon. We start discussion about that. And yeah. we're like, I think Ron started out from RxM and uh, it's kind of, uh, if you can give us more information, uh, are we going to attend, uh, I like from your last message in the CNCF Slack, uh, you said that uh, uh, there's lots needs to be open, but we're not really sure, are we attending, are we not? Is there slots and first come, first serve? So can you give us yeah. more information about that? Yeah. Yeah, thanks for asking. So, yeah, we got confirmed for the PM slot. Uh, it's going to be every day of the conference. I believe it's one to five. Maybe the last day is a little bit different because I think the the expo room is going to be open until uh, maybe three or not not until like the like six or seven because I think the first day is it's open it's open until like six or seven because there's a booth crawl and other activities but uh yeah so we're confirmed for the pm slot uh and basically anybody who wants to stop, i mean we don't have a, a sign up sheet yet uh, we can create one uh i mean who wants to be there so but it's it's pretty open now who really wants to be there and, and just hang out there and meet with people and and talk to people who stop by and answer any questions i think there's also a monitor uh, so if you have a laptop too uh, uh, you'll be able to present something if somebody wants to present something yeah uh because we're like we are but like eric sam is a silver sponsor in uh cncf and uh, we also Linux Foundation partner. And right now we're discussing like, because we're doing the plan, uh, what uh, sessions we can attend. We also have a talk on the CNCF and we just need to know, for example, Tuesday, Valentin is going to be in a boot and something like that. So uh, are you planning to make this shadow? Because we need to have some certainty here uh, so we can, so that we can book our time. Sounds good. Yeah. So what we'll, what I'll do is I create a, a doc uh, with um, hourly slots on each one of the days, and and people can sign up basically. And I'll, awesome. I'll, I'll share that. Yeah. 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 But, uh, Me and Tilian, uh, we are definitely going to be there. So, uh, you can just add us inside the sort if that's fine for you and. We definitely, yeah. we don't care who, uh, which day is going to be. Sounds uh, good. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. That That's the one I want to bring up. Thank you. On the same topic, are there any other folks on the call uh, joining uh, KubeCon? So... Why the KubeCon? Yep, I'll be there. Here, but... Okay. So, okay. So, yeah, just sign up for that. I'll create the doc and you can sign up for that. Um time slot um, during the booth. But I think in the last KubeCon, it was pretty open. So the people were sitting there for, uh, you know, like an hour or something, but other folks were walking around the Expo Pavilion or the Project Pavilion. And I think this year it might be even bigger in, in Paris and folks were just networking with the different projects and other community members. And we started doing that for Europe, right? Because in Chicago, there was not a CNC boot or I'm mistaken. Yes, there, there was. Yeah, there was. Yeah. But it, it was a full day. So for Paris. No, no, it, was, it was the same. It was, uh, it was AM and PM. I think some projects had the full day, but I think mm -hmm. this time they actually made it just half day because there are more projects interested and the, I, don't, I don't think they have enough space uh, although the space might be bigger this time but i think they 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 got more interest from from other projects and that they want to have a booth there and um what we should prepare for like are we preparing for specifically for runtime stuff or it's more cncf global like someone starts asking about uh like graduated projects and 
You just need to have a few words for each one of them. Well, it's more up to you, up to your personal story. Everybody's story is is different, so it's hard, right, to to just come up with like a like a unique story. But I, I mean, we want to leave it open for your own story and how you participate in tag tag run time. Um, um, but if you actually um, look at our charter and some of the meetings that we've had, maybe you can talk about some of those things that, or you can point people to to the meeting notes. Uh, you can point, point people to to the tag runtime GitHub repository. So just kind of basic things. Right? Uh, right. So the idea is also to, so to get more participants or more community members interested in uh, participating. In runtime specifically, because this is our... Yeah. Yeah, shift and that's is our slot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because this is runtime, but but we don't we don't like if somebody's not interested in runtime specifically, we can actually direct them to something else that they're interested. Maybe they're interested in just observability, or they're interested in storage or something. And so you can uh, direct them yeah. to to those main focus is runtime, but we're open yeah. to discussing CF more broadly. All yeah. right. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We also have a lightning talk. And I think Taylor uh, Thomas and uh, Alexander Knevsky from Intel, Taylor Thomas from Cosmonic, I think, and uh, Alexander Knevsky are going to give a, a short six minute uh, lightning talk. Uh, uh, so last year in Chicago, we had, um, we had like a three or four hour session that the tax could actually sign up for and invite other community members to present, but they, this year they're changing that into just like a lightning talk, uh, like a six minute lightning talk. So we're gonna have some community members also present in, in, in that talk. Yeah, runtime is super fun. Like I remember the first time I went to KubeCon and I just uh, entered the container D maintain and like there was like a seven, eight guys there discussing something. And for me, it was like a white noise. And after that, I spoke with Randy and he said, oh, those are like five, six people from all around the world. And they just meet there and talk about the product. So it was super funny for me because. Yeah. They... So that's that's kind of like a little <laughs> yeah. bit like the idea, just kind of meet up and also talk about things and things that are yeah. interested, get people more interested in the projects on specific technologies. Yeah, or, or some some work that needs to be done, and you want to like um, you get together with someone to to tackle the work. So it's gonna be great to meet you there, guys. If we catch up in some point, because it's a yep, absolutely ten thousand people. It's a little bit hard to meet with everyone. If nothing else. We'll see you at the booth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else wants to bring up anything else? Okay. But unfortunately, we not able to to make the presentation work. To work on Zoom's Linux support, apparently. Yep. All right. We'll give you the, that time back. 40 more minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Four weeks. See you then. Yep. See Bye. You. Bye. Bye.